over the past few years, Chris and I have closed tens of thousands of dollars in new coaching clients through Instagram and Facebook Messenger. And in today's video, I wanna walk you through how you can leverage the power of DMs, create powerful automations, and increase your engagement so that more people are going to your DMs, downloading free resources, and booking more of your services inside one of my favorite automations tool, Go High Level. Now, if you've been a part of the channel for a while, you know that we talk about many chats quite a lot. We have several tutorials on the channel about how to use that tool to leverage automations. But if you have Go High Level, you can ditch many chats because they have the exact same features and actually a little bit more powerful inside of their platform. So I wanna show you today how you can set up these automations and also some of the strategies that we use to close more leads and clients for the service part of our business. And by the way, yes, they are sponsoring this video, but they did not tell me what to say, nor could they actually review any part of this video before it got published. So you can trust that my opinions are my own. Now, before we dive into the nuts and bolts of how to actually set this up from a practical standpoint, I wanna walk through the big picture and zoom out for a second. This is our content to customers method. And we tend to think about our business and why we're setting up automations like many chats, why we're trying to engage people on social media as three different phases. Phase one is the capture phase, and that's where we're gonna be building content funnels. Then phase two is sales funnels and phase three is ads funnels. And so as we think about here and just outline this one phase, I want you to think about how you can actually turn more of your followers of the people that engage with your content into leads and customers. And you do that by setting up essentially a content funnel within Instagram and within Facebook. And that's really what we're going to do with high level. It's going to enable us to actually set up automations that follow up with people automatically, that build the relationship and then open up the conversation so that you can build more desire into your content marketing. Now, if you wanna learn how to build more desire for your offers inside of your content, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video after you finish this one, where I'm gonna show you my desire stacking method. So at every point in your content marketing, you're actually building desire for people to actually become clients and customers. All right, but enough theory, let's get into the nitty gritty that we came for. This is high level. And I want you to first of all, make sure that you're going over to your settings and that you have your Facebook and Instagram account set up over on integration. So you're gonna to go to settings and from there, you're gonna click right here on integrations and right up here in the auto sync section, you're going to be able to connect your Facebook page. And let me just move myself a little bit so I'm not blocking. Right here, make sure that you're connecting your Facebook page as well as your Instagram account. And then if you need to manage pages, you can always add the ones that you want access to, click update and continue, and you should be able to have access now directly to both your Facebook account and your Instagram account inside of Go High Level. Now, there's gonna be some configure field mapping right here. That's not something that you absolutely need to get right now, especially if you don't have any forms uh, situated. It's a little bit more nerdy, but we're gonna navigate back to our our automations and I'm going to show you our automation that we've custom built particularly for this video. It's also going to be included in our free snapshot here in our Go High Level extended trial. So there's going to be a link below this video where you can actually try Go High Level through our custom link and all of these automations plus some amazing landing pages are going to already be pre-built on your account. And hey, if you're already a Go High Level user, don't worry, you can also claim those bonuses through the link in the description. Beautiful. So here we are and it might seem a little intimidating at first if this is the first time that you have set up an automation, but I promise it is super easy and really straightforward. So let's get into how we're going to build this out. I don't recommend necessarily building it from scratch because <laughs> it does take a little bit of time, but if you copy it over uh, and use our account, you can have this exact same layout and all you have to do is then customize each of these steps. So for example, if I'm going to be setting up a Facebook post trigger, meaning I'm posting a Facebook reel or I'm posting a Facebook video or any kind of post, I'm going to first add the first trigger as the Facebook comments on a post trigger. And from here, we're going to then go ahead and customize it. Now under choose a workflow trigger, you're going to click on workflow trigger name, and that's going to be comments on a post. From there, you want to make sure that you select the Facebook page, right? I have Chris's here, mine here. I'm going to select my page. Then it's going to say, okay, what post types? And I'm going to click on publish post. Now you could also select custom is there's a post that you can't find, but for the most part, 
the post will automatically show up right here when you select post is and then you select a specific post. So in this case for my automation, this is my go high level post that I added here. And what's cool is you can actually see this post directly on Facebook. So you can make sure that that's the post that you actually want to trigger a comment on. And you can see here, I was testing it with Chris's account just to make sure it was working right. Um, and what I really like about this process is that they do show you that preview. Now, if you want to create it for more than just one post, let's say, for example, you just want to contain a specific phrase, you can just enter that phrase right here. And then this automation will trigger every time someone comments with that particular phrase. This is especially helpful if you are wanting to create multiple posts that actually send people a lead magnet or they send them to a link on your website or an application or some kind of sales page and you're going to be posting about that consistently then this is a really great way of just having all of those posts trigger this one automation no matter how many you create in the future as long as you're keeping track of the call to action and letting people know to comment with a specific phrase now, one key difference when you're setting up the actual follow-up message is that you want to make sure that you're selecting reply type and changing that from reply to comment via DM to reply to DM. Okay. Really important there so that you're not uh, triggering the wrong action. You're going to do the exact same thing for that next follow-up message on Facebook. Make sure that it hits reply to DM, not reply to comment via DM, and that should avoid any errors in the future. Now, I also have track first level comment only turned on because I only want to reply to the comments that come in as that first reply instead of nested replies. Meaning if someone is responding to someone else's comment, I don't want to also comment on their comment because it gets crazy and very busy. But if you want to do that, you can turn it off totally up to you. That's just how I run it. And then from here, we're going to have a condition that either sends people through one of two paths. If they have an instant Instagram comment, right? It's an Instagram post that they're commenting on, and they're going to go through this automation on this side, which is the exact same one as the one on Facebook. The reason I'm doing that is because I often post on both of these platforms and I want to be able to distinguish between one and the other because it allows me to customize the message even more. You don't have to do this, but if you are posting on multiple platforms like Facebook and Instagram, and it's a similar type of content, highly recommend setting this up together. Okay, so from here, once it recognizes in this first uh, section that it is a Facebook comment, then it's going to respond to the comment first. And that's what we're gonna set up here. Now we're just setting up multiple replies so that we have a variety of responses and we're not commenting the exact same thing, very much like you would on many chats. You can add a variety of responses. I usually have two, but you could add, you know, however many you want. I don't know if there is a limit. I haven't added more than three, but hey, go at it and play with pushing the limits of the tool. Now, I also want to like the comment that someone posted because the more engagement that you have on any post, the more it's going to be shown to other people. And we are going to take all the engagement that we can get. Now we're going to click on save action. So once we have the respond on a comment, I'm going to use a Facebook interactive messenger to actually craft the DM. This is going to be the thing that gets sent automatically to a person's inbox once they comment on your social media post. And so it's really simple. I'm just just going to select a template if you have one. But for me, I'm just going to create something custom and I'm going to say, hey, so happy to connect with you here. Here's the link to the full video and test drive my uh, favorite po post planner for free, this GHL. And this is where you're going to add individual buttons. Now you're going to be able to see here on the screen what it looks like when you send that DM and how the buttons are displaying. It's very cute, very curated, very similar to many chat, but this is where you're going to set up the behind the scenes. And so when you send it, it does look very curated. So we're going to set up the first button and then we're going to select open website. So for example, I'm going to click on add button. You can add another one, select the conditions, open website, or you want them to call you or perform a specific set of actions. You could do it there. For me, it's usually going to be a link. And so I'm going to add the name of the button up here and then enter the link I want to send people to. 
All right, so I'm gonna delete that test one, but now you see we have the two buttons and we are ready to go. I'm not gonna mess with add quick reply, just gonna click save action and bada beam, bada boom. Now we actually have a DM automation that's fully functional. You're gonna see that it's going to branch out into individual buttons and I'm going to click on, again, interactive messenger. So same thing, because I wanna send a reply. I wanna follow up with the people who have requested a specific resource. Go High Level also has this feature and I highly recommend using it. Their data actually says that having a follow-up message increases engagement with the first link by 36%, which is a very big deal when we're talking about marketing numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send them right away a follow-up DM, but it's not going to be necessarily pushy or anything like that. I'm just going to tell them, hey, if they have any questions, feel free to reply. I'm happy to help them. And so this is something that you can customize however you please. But for this particular automation, I'm going to say something like, hope you find the video helpful. If you have any questions about GHL or your free or your 30 day free trial and bonuses, let me know, Kim. Now that opens up the conversation so that if someone has questions about their particular business, they can message me and I can let them know, hey, if, is GHL right for them? Do they have any questions about implementing something specific if they're already a Go High Level customer? And that makes a really big difference. But if I was selling a service or a course or one of my coaching packages, I would change how I do this just slightly. Instead of letting them know with a statement, hey, if you have any questions, let me know, I would actually ask them a question as a follow-up to continue the conversation. So instead, I would say something like, hey, tell me more about your business. Business, I'd love to help you customize GHL for your specific needs. You better believe that's going to elicit a response. A lot of people are going to take me up on that offer and then I can just have a conversation with them. And then if they want or need help with implementation, I can send them over to Brian on our team who implements a lot of these accounts and does custom work on GHL for our clients. If they want access to more marketing coaching and they request that, then I will send them a link of our program or I will answer some of their questions or just help them out for free, right? Just add value. It really is all about building relationship and having more conversations so that you can switch the relationship from just someone who's consuming content on Instagram or on Facebook to someone who's now directly connected to you, has a relationship, feels like they can trust you, and is way more likely to do business with you right then and there or in the future. Okay, so now that we have all of this set up and it's looking good, we of course wanna test it and make sure that it's working. And the best way for you to test it is to do something like I did. I went over and I logged into Chris's account, but you could also just have like someone, one of your friends, test it out and comment, or you could try doing it from a different account yourself. So I just commented test for Chris and made sure that the DM was sent right, that the follow-up message was received on Facebook and that the whole automation was working properly. What I also love about Go High Level that's different than many chats is the fact that you have an enrollment history. So you can actually go and actively see who has followed up with or, or has become a lead from this particular work flow. And so if we go back here to history, we can look at the enrollment history and you'll see this is me, but it will be added to your contact. So anyone who did requests a download or request a link through your comments in your Facebook account or your Instagram account, you're going to be able to see their contact information here. Of course, you're not going to necessarily have an email unless you ask for that, which is also something that you should be thinking of, but you will be able to message them directly here from high level and just have all of your leads in one place, which for me is an absolute game changer because I can send messages and make sure that I'm staying up to date with people who are opting in to receive my content through Instagram or Facebook DMs. Now, keep in mind that the Instagram workflow is exactly the same as a Facebook workflow. We're just going to be using slightly different triggers that are related to Instagram. So I'm gonna reply it with a comment the exact same way that we did with Facebook. I'm copy and pasting the exact same messages um, and then making sure that I have my like comment on, clicking save action. And from there, we're gonna move into the exact same DM structure where we have that same DM with the buttons and the links that I want to be able to send people through. 
Now, something I wanted to point out that I didn't in the Facebook one, you can also set up a default next step timer right here. So you could have, hey, wait one minute and then send people through, or you could just remove it completely and send it to them right away, like zero minutes. If it is something that you want to build a full auto responder kind of sequence for people, you can add more of these. So let's say that you want to follow up right away and let them know, hey, if you have questions about this resource or about this program, reply back, you can have that here, but you could also build this out to your heart's content and basically just be like, hey, let me just add a waiting period of maybe three days. I'm going to wait three days, save action. And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to add another interactive Instagram DM just to follow up. And so I could say something like, hey, hope you enjoyed the free resources. Tell me more about what you do. I'd love to help you customize GHL for your specific business. Boom. Now I actually have an automatic way of following up with my leads and opening again that conversation. Now you don't necessarily want to do this for every single one of your automations, but the ones that are going to lead to sales or are going to lead to the next step in the relationship building process might be worth it for you to actually have conversations with people and prompt them to respond to your message. Of course, if you want to do the same thing for the Facebook side of things, you're just going to copy the exact same message, but this time, instead of Instagram, you're going to make sure that you're adding the Facebook interactive messenger. Hey, amazing job setting this up. And now that you have an Instagram or and Facebook automation that will actually help to increase your leads and sales directly from the content you're already creating, you're probably going to want to save a lot of time in your content creation process. And that's where GHL's post planner comes into play with features like evergreen posts and the queue feature where you can actually set up a set of recurring posts to be published into the future so that you're recycling, reusing and repurposing your content the smart way, you're going to want to check out that video next. Thanks again to Go High Level for kindly sponsoring this video. I will see you in the next one. Un beso. Bye for now.